If I die on plate Delta, I die on plate Delta. Too bad. So sad. I think anything that's posted within the first two weeks of a game releasing, calling itself world record, is fucking stupid. Because before, like, the main strats have been established, it literally is just you saying first, even if you post, like, a ship run with eight deaths or something, you can claim, oh, well, no one's better than it so far. Yeah, well, no one's fucking practiced with it so far, clearly. <laughs> it's not a swamp. I'm sure there's people for Louisiana who've already got a channel like that. ASMR, Gators farting. Um, that's not what I want you to do, buddy. No, you jump in the other way. I hate you. He'll jump the other way when he wants to go left. Yeah, that's more like it. No, for fuck's sake. Why couldn't this scene be optional, for fuck's sake? I think these segments where you just roll right at the beginning of the game will make rerunning it kind of whack. Fuck. Stupid. Oh, bollocks, this is going great. There's something that Chinese guy does. He's like, I think he only has one weapon equipped, but it's like he's switching back and forth between unequipped and weapon. Like he'll just be running, and you'll see in the bottom left, he'll just be going. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't think it speeds him up. I think it's just like some meme thing he's doing to kill time. <laughs> but if he is switching between like a weapon and melee, that'd be really useful to know, because I'd like to get back to melee, but I have to open up a fucking window for it.
be switching to the feather as soon as I throw the lost bit of dynamite. I mean, that's obvious. I just feel like seeing it. Like... <sighs> yeah, if you're moving when she dives, that happens. So even with the fuck-ups on the way here, it's still a time save if you get the perfect fight. Okay, accidentally activated Shabir. Uh, maybe that was the only fuck-up. Having yellow stamina doesn't affect your rolling or jumping. Change the fucking thing so I don't end up warping out again like an asshole. Equipment. Thanks. See, I've got the visual glitch where the bow's appearing in my hand every time I jump, but it's not shitting up the frames. I don't understand why it happens in other places. Punch the floor. now. Um, it does, but like I'm clearly, I'm not damage swapping. I think I'm just swapping weapons while it's moving. Honest. <laughs> I'm not damage swapping in this room. We'll get him on tape pads. Sucks. Should stop the fight. Jazz hands? No. On fire, quite literally. Grabbing on the street limb. I don't want that. We just go flying on down to the floor. Like, get a giant ass boost. That's like I need to practice.
Yeah, sometimes when you do a damage swap, uh, I think it looks like you got the wrong weapon on. You'd be doing sword attacks, but with a bow in your hand or some shit like that. I know the scenario of the execution for it, though. It's weird how there's like absolutely no twist in this story. Everyone suspects that the uh, plague doctor's up to something, and he's got a lair that looks super suspicious. And it turns out it's the plague doctor that's up to something. It's like, yep, it's him. All right, no Hilda necessary. We got the green egg. Oh, so like if you just open up swap weapons by moving left, right. Hello? Uh oh. I can roll there. Oh, it's giving me the fucking frames thing, isn't it? Jump. Slide, jump. Yeah, it's giving me. Like, this looks like it's fucking glitched, doesn't it? I'm trying to run no major glitches, could you, like, stop making it look like I'm trying to cheat? Thanks. <laughs> I'm literally not even attempting to do anything. Yeah, like, this is a bad look. If someone else looked at this, be like, well, you, you got mainly equipped, but your bow keeps appearing in your hand. Why is that, huh? I don't fucking know. That game's not very well made. In terms of, uh, intended things happening as they were intended. Stones upgrade axe. It was that time uh, Freyak, I think, did a, a backflip with a bow before opening a door, and then when it loaded in the next room, he couldn't move at all. <laughs> Classic vigil glitches. Top 10. Alright, and this took me five attempts last time. Shit, we're over here. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, come on! You fucking bat. You chili fish. That's not high enough. Bat, you need to help me out. This is not good. 
I am trying to heal here. This is killing the run dead. Oh, don't turn around. It looks good. Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Awful. The way I jumped off the initial points looked like we could have made it over on time. You, we're using an axe, doesn't give us a back stab damage boost, so like, what? Okay, that's uh, not really wrong. Okay, but fine. Cider, walk up, roll through, then switch weapon. I think Cole said that he was trying to do like no major glitches runs of mine seeds, but every time he ran the game, he just like got, fell through a floor, fell through a wall. Play with oranges everywhere. What are you doing? Like your damage on enemies is RNG as well? Their damage on you? I, I have a game called 100% Orange Juice. It's like a, a digital board game, and apparently that's just the idea is for it to be 100% RNG. Play with your friends, and like just you're in control, and then you get shafted by RNG, and then you have a good old fucking laugh at your expense. Let's try these guys for more, uh, better blues.
Oh, okay, well, he doesn't need a slow boost off. Nice. No, okay. Skills. Yeah. Damage by myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Switch the bow. Dude, Jesus, dude. What the fuck's going on? Facing right is uh, backstabs against this dude. But fucking feather, no, I fell off. Where'd they try? Stinky boy. Yeah, I, I've, I've literally only seen a couple speedrun of Mind Seas, but it does look pretty cool. I think I originally saw Mind Seas when they were like asking for a Kickstarter, and something about the screenshots just made me go like, Ew. but like as a complete game, it might be fun. Holy fucking god. Listen, I don't have the axe equipped. This looks bad, but believe me, this is totally a legit playthrough. <laughs> a casual light game. Hmm. I can believe that. I like most of my Metroidvanias, to be honest. I think the main reason people hate them, like in the Bleed Discord, people are saying like, oh, in Metroidvanias, I usually get lost. It's like, well, it sucks to be you. Uh, why am I doing it? Do the other NMG runs look like this? Please tell me they do. Remember, I think there was like a Sisters NMG glitch run I was doing right at the end as I went into the Light Devourer fight. I accidentally hit the reset button, so I had to go and click on cancel, which <laughs> made the game go off screen for like a second or two. <laughs> and some guy was just like, Gia! It's a boat. <laughs> it's a boat. A run. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. F wait, frame perfect? No, thank you. Oh no, they're actually coming down. That's fine. I'll take the poison. Jesus, I'm actually like dying here. Get more back to wherever the fuck it is, thanks. Wrap it up. Or you tap it up or something. I think you're saying like right at the beginning you've got like frame perfect uh, jumps to do. Was like something in the pause menu that causes you to get gigantic height off things? When he does like charge sword attacks through walls, is that like a similar scenario where it's like incredibly precise, or is that just like you just do literally how it looks? Just stand in their wall, do charge attack, and win. Go to the mine, how about you go to the lake or some shit, I guess?
I have no idea if you've played the game post on yourself. When he was talking about mind seeds, my mind just assumed he was actually talking about mind jack. If you just think like a 360 euro game. Because I think that was regarded as jank. So like when he was talking about janky shit, my mind just defaulted to like, oh, he must be mind jack. Sneeze? <laughs> no, no, correct. Mine sense wall clips are extremely precise. At the times they're completely free. Oh, right, it just depends. I guess like some of the out of bounds transitions in this game then. Um, wait, yeah, 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 let's pull back. Didn't even need to leave the building there. I have to remember not to do uh, feather right at the beginning when I load in because I want to leave and go right. Go straight to uh, the house on Hornet Hill, whatever the fuck it's called. Super jump. Frame perfect, right? Down one. Yeah, 1838. Right, go remember the spikes on the floor here. Who put these here? There you go. Oh, random? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, alright, now it's a horror story. Right, switch off here. There you go. But knowing this game shit's just gonna appear in my hands constantly. I got nothing in my hands? When I come in through the right door from the mill, that guy isn't there in this room. It's weird. Uh, no, where am I going? Down here. Thank you. <laughs> Random fucking strengths. Oh, it's like, oh great, let's just hope this shit works. I mean, I've only seen- I only recall it happening at the beginning of the game. Maybe there's other places, but... Really awful shit being right at the beginning of a run, I guess it's fine, because if you get a reset, it may as well be right at the beginning. If, if shit like that's at the end of a run, then it's like, ah, oh, fuck. Just end my life. Something's off about the cycles on this compared to any percent. I guess it's because we come in the actual intended way. Imagine that. Through this room, I think. Okay, at least it's gone into the the floor. Guess I can see this guy. Do I honestly wanna wanna fuck with this guy? All right, got a slide there. That helps. Can't change weapon bolts on the floor. Whoa! Slide up, buddy. Buffered moves, thanks, let's go. Do not open the menus. Thank you. <laughs> well, you didn't come up with it. You just found it. What the fuck? He was not having that. He's like, no, out. Red thing. There we go. Do not full flip. Thank you. Different run. Apparently, these are the crypt. What difference it makes, I don't know. One. If don't mash, otherwise you end up like grabbing a ledge that no one want, has any intention of grabbing. Roll 
off the ledge, roll off the ledge. Go nice. Nice. Fucking shook. Clean, etc. Good nine heals as well, lovely. Please get stunned. This uh, damage isn't great. I was just first heavy behind him, like it's gonna do anything. Yeah, this is the money shot. Absolutely. Oh shit, skills. Yeah, I forgot about this. Uh, no. Skills, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, that'll do. Oh no, don't kill me. Oh, cool. Side is one off though. Fuck you! Fuck yeah! Alright, um, no, not there. How bad's this fight gonna be, though? Because I imagine we won't be able to kill him before he starts flying around like a big asshole. Okay. Not doing 50% instantly. Shit fight. Whoa! Oh, fucking hell. That was scary. Plays a beam. Cool. Fist? No? No? Oh, sucked. Jump up. Okay. Not awful, but not as good as daggers for sure. Oh yeah, this is gonna make it. Not at all. It's decent time, but it's not like... It doesn't seem like it'll be touching the record. If only there was like something we could throw a plate dump at to stun it. There's an item in the game that apparently resolves stun, but it's like, you barely get stunned in this game, so why would you use it? I'm not sure if it's like a typo. Why would you apply something to yourself when you're stunned if you're only ever stunned, A, rarely, and B, for like two seconds? Yeah, it's like 30 seconds before record elapses here. It's gonna happen. Way more points now, actually. Yeah, fuck the door. Okay, I actually shredded him, kind of. Like shitty RNG on Mad Pale Raven, like can that be much better with the axe? Like he's flying around, sure, but like if he goes upright, there's nothing you can really do. But if he stays down relatively low and does like red orb, yellow lights, those flying red fist things, he might be okay-ish. 
definitely make Plague Doctor less of an issue. Like, if you're running this in a marathon, this would be the route to do. But I think if you're going for record, uh, Daggers is the way. <laughs> you only need him to do, like, one good thing in a good position with, like, fully buffed Daggers or damage swap Daggers and he's dead. He just need to do the, the right thing once, and it's all okay. This Plague Doctor Part 2 with the daggers that aren't damage swamp with X shit is just awful. He never gets stunned. As soon as you start attacking him, he's just like, dash through you! It's like an even more annoying version of Defil. Shit, I don't think I've ever watched this ending in full. <laughs> so this is the good ending, is it? No? Oh, well, I thought it was, until that happened. <laughs> until... <laughs> the left door ending just makes it look like she's gonna go and fight some giant cosmic snake. Either that, or you could read it as her embracing the dark side or some shit like that. 